Hi, welcome. Uh, my name is Mr. Gale, and I'm a Standards and Progress Lead of the Humanities and Health and Social Care Faculty. I'm also a teacher of GCC Citizenship. So I just want to share with you uh, more information about this, this course or the subject that you will uh, be taking from, from next year in year nine. So it's now become uh, a, a mandatory unit. So every student will now be taking an active part in a GCC citizenship and it is now going to be run from year nine uh, through uh, all the way through to the end of year 10 where the students would then have the opportunity to sit the exam at the end of year 10 to gain a GCSE uh, before they get into year 11. So they have one already in, in the bank. So what is citizenship? So it is going to look at the studies uh, to motivate and enable young people to become thoughtful and active citizens. So we're going to look at key aspects around our country is becoming citizens. So have a great knowledge of democracy and how the country is run. So these might be themes that you may have come across in some subjects already, such as PSHE and your history uh, at the moment at Key Stage 3. So we're going to develop on them uh, a bit more. Uh, we'll also look at things like the government and law within our country, within Britain, and develop skills and create sustained and reasoned arguments. Uh, we'll give you opportunities to create debates and gather your arguments or evidence to create arguments uh, and about your viewpoints that you may have on certain things in society. Uh, and look at way of different evidence uh, to look at interpretations of source and make case studies of key events that have happened in society and get your opinions on those. So overall, there's an overarching theme that the citizenship uh, looks at, which is how citizens uh, can make, try and make a difference. And within this overarching theme, there's kind of some content, free content themes that I'll discuss with you in a bit more detail. OK, so the, the subject content in the first theme looks at life in modern Britain. So what is it like, the dyna dynamics of the society that we live in in Britain at the minute? So what does it mean, first of all, to be British, as well as the role of the media and United Kingdom's role on the world stage? OK, so recently with my, my uh, students I'm teaching at the minute in, in this section of the media, we looked at, for example, how newspapers had the, the scandals that we'd seen and how they hacked information um, from people, uh, whether that was uh, a crime case, whether that was celebrities. And we look at the role, how has that affected people? Is that right? What? How have they have done that? And what should be the punishment for, for media companies that have been things like that within our society. So it really sparks up this idea of debate and discussion with our students. The second theme then we look at is the rights and responsibilities. So looking at actually laws itself. So what rights do we have living in this country? What are our responsibilities to make sure we uphold the law and we do not uh, go against the law? In the UK, not just in the UK, but also on a global aspect as well, a nature of international laws, so not just in Britain. We look at laws across other societies and other citizens across other countries, uh, treaties and agreements that also the UK abides by. So most recent agreements we like to look at the minute is things like Brexit are quite topical and a key one that has been quite recently in the news. And then the third theme we look at is politics and participation. This is the aspect we might look at and get you to develop on the ideas of your democracy and knowledge and skills to understand how to resolve issues that really develops by resolving issues, bringing change and empowering citizens to actually give you aspects to help you in the develop after school or when you go into further education and things that might help you when you're looking at going for jobs and key aspects within society. You'll also find that it's outlined some key concepts also and a final key question that relates to how citizens 
can try and make a difference. So these key questions enable students to study the content frame and the learning through the application of the citizenship skills, processes and methods listed below. For each in each of these themes, there is a requirement that the students develop and apply citizenship skills and gain an understanding of following processes and methods related to issues arising from the subject concept. So how will you be assessed in this subject? So there are two papers that you would sit in uh, GCC citizenship. So you have paper one and paper two, and they are both one hour, 45 minute papers, both out of 80 marks and both equally worth 50% of the GCC. And you can see at the top where it says what's to be assessed, section A and B on both the papers are the key themes that are running that I just spoke about in the content as you go through. These would be built in as, as you go through and we'll go through uh, exam questions and technique throughout the course, preparing you to answer those questions in the paper in year 10. Uh, thank you. If you have any questions or would like to find any more information about citizenship uh, or taking this G when you were taking this GCC or uh, anything about actually the key themes, uh, please come and see me in the humanities department. Uh, myself, Mr. Gale, Miss uh, Horsfield, Mr. Downey or Mr. Fayer, and we will answer any questions uh, you may have. Thank you.